Morning, everyone. This morning, guys, we are going to talk about three segments of Kaisen by Masaki Imai. Masaki Imai gave this concept of Kaisen 30 years ago. Kaisen means, Kei means constant, and Zen means improvement. Make your product the best constantly. See, for example, <clears throat> that uh, Oreo cookies, liked by all the children. But if you are going to be satisfied, complacent, you are not going to improve upon your ice cream or your chips or your car or your uh, any kind of product, whether it's uh, given so good or well done so good, if you are not going to improve upon that, your product is going to wither away and disappear from the market sooner than the later. K. Meaning of the K is change, improvement, constant change, constant improvement, Zen for the best. So improve your product for the best all the time. That is those, that is that is the Masaki's Imai's message to every businessman. That you make yourself absolutely certain that your product does not stay stagnant, does not stay the same with taste and the same with every single thing. Otherwise, your competitors are going to just elbow your product out of the market. And the whatever the market share you had is going to be occupied by your competitor. Your product will be tailing their product. That happens with so many products. If you don't change, product going to be the out. I know when, in my infancy, the best biscuit available in the market was glucose G. Now at that time, there were not too many competitors and this glucose G was the best available biscuit in the market. But today I see after 50 years that many other Competitors have actually taken over the market and they, that glucose G has become an inferior product, a minuscule product. Said the people like to eat. When they look at it, when I look at the thing, I remember my past and I say, oh my God, this biscuit is still sitting over here on the, on the mall's shelf waiting for the customer to come. Now who is going to get old product? Old product means redundant product. Old product means lackluster product. Old things people don't like. Old things are not attractive. So you have to change. You have to change the wrapper. You have to change the taste. You have to change the name. You have to change the price. You have to change every single thing. Revitalize your product. If you don't revitalize your product, your product is definitely going to wither away, disappear, from the psyche and the mind of the consumers. Consumers are going to be lured by other competitors of product, alternate products, and they are definitely going to reject and deject your product. That was Masaki's Imai's message in Kaizen. Now, Kaizen is like a huge ocean. So many things he has said, and so many things are read by his followers. Over here we have three segments of Kaizen. Kaizen uh, segment number one is managerial Kaizen. Number two is group Kaizen and the third one is individual Kaizen. We are going to elaborate all these three one at a time. Number one is managerial Kaizen. Manage education means all kinds of occasion, all kinds of changes, all kinds of improvement, all kinds of betterment, all kinds of change in the durability, utility, quality, pressability. Every single thing will be introduced by the managers. Team of the managers is going to carry out the occasion and the product is going to actually change from old look to new look from absolutely dogmatic to pragmatic, from luster to lackluster, from all kinds of greatness to gory or gory to greatness, 
Kaizen is going to actually bring your product back into the market by reselecting the product from its demise. Then the manager can do it. So certain Kaizen can be exercised, carried out, practiced by managers. That is called managerial Kaizen and group and individuals cannot actually carry out those things because that Kaizen actually falls into the domain, into the turf of managers only. Number two is a group Kaizen. Now, the group of the people, the cluster of the people working in the assembly line, in the manufacturing plant, this group is actually going to bring about some kind of Kaizen mentality, Kaizen concept. The group introduced Kaizen. Means the whole group is going to go for the no, novel thing, holistic thing, absolutely uh, lateral thing, innovative thing. Group is going to have the meeting of mind and they are going to put their mind, their muscles, their potential and the promise together, their skill and their talent. The whole group is going to contribute and put every single thing together in one part and then they are going to create a Kaizen. This Kaizen will be known as Group Kaizen. So, managerial Kaizen is different than the Group Kaizen. Man what managers can actually introduce the Kaizen, Group cannot involve in that, and whatever the Group Kaizen is there. Managers cannot understand this, and the Group Kaizen will be created by the group of the people working in the company. No, managers, go, managers have to consent it. They are going to discuss about this case into the management before, this, before the introduction or application of this group case. <coughs> Third segment of case is individual case. Now, individual case is the person working in any company, like take the example of Tata, where 11 lakh people work, 1.1 million people work over there. The idea of Kaizen strikes to the mind of one individual and that one individual meditate on it, ruminate on it, focuses on it, concentrates on it, ponders upon it. And then he finally realizes that this is a Kaizen idea, this is a holistic ideas, lateral absolutely, innovative ideas and He's quite certain the management is going to accept this individual Kaizen, Kaizen from me. He approaches the manager, his immediate boss, discusses with him about that change, this change, change in the color, change in the taste, change in the product, change in the performance, change in the features, change in the shape, change in the size. Manager is definitely going to pay attention to that and if manager is convinced, all the managers are convinced, then and then, this individual's ideas of Kaizen will be adopted, implemented in the product, and now on, the new product coming out of the market would have different kind of shape, size, different test, different thing, different flavor, different feature. Every single thing will change. You are never going to recognize this the same thing. And that would be individual Kaizen. So, in a nutshell, today we discussed about three segments of Kaizen by Masaki Mai. Managerial Kaizen, or the team of the manager can actually bring about that Kaizen. Group Kaizen, the group of the people working in any department, come up with this, this Kaizen. This Kaizen is known as Group Kaizen. Individual Kaizen is any individual working in the company gets some different kind of very holistic kind of idea. The idea strikes to him. Very novel, novel idea, very holistic idea, very, very, very lateral and innovative idea surprises him and he surprises the managers. Ideas are accepted. Product, product is now with a different kind of Kaizen product is absolutely holistic, absolutely lateral, innovative. People are going to love this product and that product is going to keep the company ticking. Thanks to Kaizen and thanks to Masaki Mahi. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. 
See you again next time. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. I mean, use it. Never ever lose it.